Shalom. I'm your brother Jeremiah from the branch of GMS South Carolina Millers. Before we start off, all praise, honor, and glory belongs to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Raka Kodash. That there is the true name of the Heavenly Father, named Yahweh, whom the world eagerly calls God. Bahasham means in the name. And Yahweh Shai is the true name of his son, our Lord and our Savior, and whom the word eagerly calls Jesus. The Rakah Kodash is the Holy Spirit. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who teach and rule well. And Shalom unto you hopeful elect scattered abroad throughout the four corners of the earth. So just a quick in transit through the spirit and the power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. You know, this was really inspired um, by a sister that I met over the weekend, you know, just a little after camp. And, uh, you know, she was pretty much inquiring about the stones, you know, that I was wearing. You know, the different brothers from different camps all around, you know, we wear the stones on our necks and on our wrists. But nonetheless, you know, just using wisdom, you know, um, I asked the sister whether or not she knew that we were uh, truly indeed the biblical Israelites in the scriptures, you know, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans of today, you know, we are the, the Hebrew Israelites of the Bible. And, uh, you know, she said that she was uh, basically informed that we are the Israelites, you know, by somebody that she knew, uh, but she wasn't all the way familiar, you know, with it. And uh, one of the things that I picked up from the conversation I was having with her, uh, she was saying that she felt in her spirit that things were going on in the world. You know, she basically couldn't put a finger on it. You know, as far as uh, one of the topics that was brought up, um, she was going into how uh, the earthquakes was happening. And yes, indeed, the earthquakes does have something to do as far as prophecy is concerned. You know, it's all happening you know according to the will and the word of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai and uh, <clears throat> those are actually in fact signs you know that the Lord Yahweh Shai told to the disciples and that we can take in today's time and understand that the Lord is about to return to the planet earth and uh, you know we should not ignore these signs know that the Lord is about to return because we have you know really few major prophecies you know that need and that will come to pass here in these latter days um, before the return of our Lord Yahweh Shai and oh how we hasten the day of the Lord you know that the Lord may save us from from this hell from this captivity um, that we're in but um, nonetheless you know, we still have new Akim, Gua Gua brothers and sisters, you know, still waking up to the truth here in these last seconds of the last days. And, uh, you know, we got to still uh, push this truth and, and, and sincerity, you know, so that they may be edified, you know, here in these latter days. Um, but some advice that I would have for any new Akim, Gua Gua brothers and sisters, you know, really more so towards the brothers, but for you sisters as well. Um, the first step in coming into this truth is to fear the Lord, you know, to, to fear Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Because once you acquire this knowledge, you will understand that, you know, that Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, he controls literally everything, everything that's going on in the world, everything that man does, you know, the scriptures tell us that he kill, he maketh alive, you know, he wound and he heals, and there's none that can deliver out of his hand, and there's another scripture that tells us that the fear of the Lord driveth away sin, and where it is present, you know, it turneth away wrath, and here in these last days, in these in the, in the day of the Lord, which the Lord is coming back to judge, and He is coming back to save the elect. 
we want the Lord to spare us. You know, we want the, the mercies of Yahweh Shemiah Shai to fall upon us that we may be delivered. Frankly, we want to be a part of that hopeful elect to be redeemed out of here. Um, but not to be long-winded, um, I do want to get uh, at least one scripture before I go in to the plantation or have to go in. And that's the book of Proverbs 1 and 7. It says, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. So first, before anything, you know, you have to fear the Lord when it comes to uh, serving the Lord and trying to acquire this knowledge, wisdom and understanding. It says, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. So don't be a fool and despise this counsel of Yahweh, the correction of the Lord. You know, we all had that um, that calling from Yahweh Shai, and it'd be a foolish thing, you know, to despise it. But, um, you know, secondly, um, in Isaiah 55 and 6, it says, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. You know, call ye upon him while he is near. Because there's going to be a point in time where you're not going to be able to, to find the Lord, to, to uh, obtain the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of Yahweh by Shemiah Shai. And in that time, it's going to be too late. And it's very important to call upon the names. Because the scriptures tell us that the name of the Lord is a strong tower. Um, but um, also, too, you know, it's important to, to follow the correct men. You know, the men of, of Great Millstone who have the 100% truth. And we say that humbly, not pridefully. Okay. And, um, and yeah, man, just utilize this, this liberty, this grace, this time to seek the Lord while it may be found. But most importantly, above all, fear the Lord. And uh, that's all I got on it uh, for right now. I got to go into the plantation. I pray and hope that this is edifying unto the elect. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Shalom unto you, hopeful elect. And call Halal Yahweh Shemiah Shai. Shalom.